interesting how like everybody kind of know what's going on, but we can't all just be like, that's what's going on. We all just going to be like, all right, well, well, Chris Rock, he deserved that. And then uh, Will Smith, he's a man and then protect black women versus like this. Right. When Antonio Brown got butt naked, there's like he's crazy. He mm-hmm. going through some things. That's it. Kanye That's snatched, did. Kanye snatched, got, snatched the award out of Taylor. I mean, snatched the microphone out of Taylor Swift hand. He crazy. He crazy. He going through some things. But Will Smith is like, nah, there's no way that Will could ever be, a, could ever be like the perpetrator. So it's everybody else's fault. And I think, I think that's a whack. <laughs> it is whack. It is. No, it's, it's extremely whack. It's, it's whack. And, you know, I, I got to say this. I mean, Will can't be happy with his action on that. You know, and I think the tears that he had while accepting his uh, award, his, his Oscar award for uh, for King Richard were because he he know he let himself down. He let himself get to it, but he didn't want to cry. He he didn't even want to smack the shit out of Chris Rock like that. But like you mentioned, he got the look from his wife. He was laughing. Are you laughing and shit? Are you laughing? Oh, okay, I'm gonna fuck him. And then he had to go up there and prove his point. He had to go up there and smack the shit out of that man. And that's why Chris Rock just said, damn, dude. Like, you mean, Chris Rock didn't even believe the shit was going to happen. Chris Rock was like, oh, King Richard. He called him Richard. He didn't even call him Will Smith. He called him Richard. He didn't even know it was going to happen. They saying, they, they saying that basically, this is, they, this is and, and you know what kills me about this is that everyone in the media is already trying to give Will an out for this shit. They're one, okay, it's the protect black women. She got alopecia. Uh she has she has she has a hair loss disease. Okay, understood. Uh the other deal is we already know we've been going through some shit. Okay, fine. And then it's now it's even to the third extreme. He was still in character of being King Richard. Wow. So so people are going that far to say that that he was just so in character and he acted as how Richard would act. Saying that, baby. So now you blaming this on wow. Sierra and Venus' dad. Now it's his fault. You know what I'm wow. saying? We're, we're we're reaching that far. However, if you look earlier on the tape, um, he was asked by something. I think it was by like entertainment or something like that. He was asked a question. Oh, you know, hey, luckily ain't no more entanglements. They mentioned the word entanglement. Slap that motherfucker. You feel me? Slap him. If that was, and I'll say this right now, if that was Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld wouldn't have got slapped. And that's fucked up. And I and I, and I do, I think it's fucked up that 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 they even would. And you know, another thing that gets me is this. Is all, uh, another thing that gets me is, I'm sorry, I'm very frustrated about this because just like you, just like you, Ryan, these are two of my favorite, these are two of my heroes in a lot of ways. Chris Rock is definitely somebody who is profound in the comedy. Um, Will Smith has definitely you know, shown us what acting is as far as like any young black man could identify with his story if they never had their father and things like that, or uh, even though he had his father in his life, but just the show in itself had us be so much related to it. Right. So, you know, Will Smith has, of course, won our hearts, right? But to see this happen, this is a type, this is a type of shit that's like, you leave the shit in front of these white people, this is the type of shit that they want us to see, bro. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like I'm being, I'm being real. That the, this is the shit that they want to see. Oh, look at y'all! Look at y'all heroes! Look at them! Look at them acting up. You know what's in, you know what's interesting about that point? I was going to ask you about that as well. I was going to ask you how do you feel about the concept of like, of uh, I guess people were calling this about the white gays and that black people shouldn't be concerned about how they look in like in front of white folks. And the thing is, I think I think that's someone you i think i understand that point and it's misdiagnosed for this situation i think more or less of what you're saying is why y'all doing that in front of company right like it doesn't matter i'm not this isn't some make sure your hair is right in front of white people yeah. it's yo don't smack me in my head in front of company bro like yeah. you know what i mean it's like i just saw this me i just saw this meme i saw this meme today right and um I saw this meme when I had this dude with underwear on his head, right? Like the, the drawers was on his head and on the bottom it said, and the bottom it said, bruh, it's, it said POV when your boy give you a wedgie to show off in front of some hoes y'all just met. Mm. Like, and it's just, obviously it's a massive extreme, but it's like when you be around some randoms, like, bro, why is y'all putting our business in the street in front of these random hoes? 
nobody care about the bitches thing yeah but bro like respectfully though like yeah. why is you giving me a wedgie in front of bitches <laughs> like you care this, about the bitches thing that's why right so it's like but it's like well why you care about the host thing it's not about me caring what host think it's about respect so it's like yeah. i don't it's not about black people acting in front of white folks it's about like why would you do that in front of company like you can go with the back and, and choke him up like that or whatever. I'm only if here's the thing, I don't even I don't even care. I don't even care if you do it at the Oscars. I don't care. I, I wouldn't want it to happen at the BET Awards. Yeah. I wouldn't want it to happen nowhere. I'm, I think that's like even I feel like at the BET Awards it'd be even more disrespectful. And I just think there's this thing like you do y'all trying to say that black people got to behave right at the Oscars. I'm not saying anybody got to behave. I'm saying you shouldn't just smack a grown ass black man in public in front of people over some shit that he said. I think that's crazy to me. And they got this thing. They got this thing that they passing around because I watch, I consume a lot of like content and shit. So like I'll be, my memory for content is like kind of clear. So I knew they were, I knew they were going to circulate this thing of like of Will Smith smacking this, smacking this French guy. I overseas. saw that one. Yep. Right. And they had, they had to bring that like, one. Y'all acting like Will Smith ain't been at these hands. Like nah, that video was super funny. And Will Smith smacks dude because Will Smith, a t- dude attempts to kiss Will, Will Smith on both of his cheeks. He's yeah. like trying to say like, kiss him hard. It's like, Hey, break it off me. This is weird respectfully that's self-defense like it's yeah. literally not the same thing so to your like jerry seinfeld point it's people like see he would have smacked jerry seinfeld too because he smacked his french guy like nah, nah bro that's not the same thing see but the thing is just like y'all just don't understand how it would be like when you be playing with niggas wives because because when you play with niggas wives and i do understand i do i hear that to an extent and i think there's certain there's certain arenas for like for certain things like